Hi, a friend asked me to make a copper bracelet for him, so I thought I would try and do the silver Viking arm ring, and I will link a copy of that video in the, um, the comments. I had no idea what the gauge was, so I just went with 10 feet of 10 gauge copper wire. I took the entire length and divided it up into threes and twisted the whole piece. I cut it into three sections, which ended up being about 10 inches each. And then I soldered each end together. I then soldered uh, all three of those pieces together. And I did not have a vice grip, unfortunately. So I recruited my neighbor to help me twist it. And we ended up with a big mess. Uh, we twisted it the wrong way and we twisted it way too tight. So I spent about the next 40 minutes untwisting all of it and unfortunately lost uh, one of the strands. It just, it broke um, too far in. So I ended up with this, which I like. Um, and it's important to remember if you're gonna do this to twist it the opposite way that you twisted the, uh, the first two strands together. So I took it and soldered the end together and then I shaped it and started trying to anneal out the ends and get them uh, to look the same as they did in the other video and it just wasn't happening. Uh, five, six times I think I hammered them out, annealed, hammered them out and they just kept falling apart. I just, I just couldn't make it happen. So it got pretty frustrating and I gave up and sawed off the ends. So then I needed to make caps because uh, the ends just, just didn't look very good at all. So uh, all I had was the copper wire. So I hammered out a strip of that and uh, shaped it into caps to cover the ends. Unfortunately, uh, they weren't wide enough. So I soldered two pieces together for each end. And then I took some uh, smaller snips of the copper wire and melted those into balls and hammered those out to uh, finish off the ends. And I put his initials in, uh, in each one. Then I took the whole thing and uh, soldered it together and then dumped it in the bucket to cool it off. And then I spent about two hours, I think, uh, trying to get all of the plier marks off of the bracelet where we had, uh, had twisted it. And uh, this is what I ended up with. So, starting with 10 inches of twisted wire after the first twist each piece was 10 inches uh, i ended up with a bracelet that was seven inches and um, i think it looks pretty good i would go with a smaller gauge if i was going to do the uh, three strand like they did in the video probably a 12 maybe even a 14 i'm not sure but uh, 10 was uh 10 was too big but i like the way it came out and he likes it so it's all good